Major League Ball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And our pitcher tonight, Carlos Rodon. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider... Having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. As the lefty gets to work, Francisco Lindor at the plate now. That's ball one. That one down the line, and he picks it up in foul territory. Boog, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. In the air to left down the line. Verdugo ranging after it. Hauls it in for the out. Two away down. Here's a Mets lineup now. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Harrison Bader. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Two out spaces empty. That misses the zone, and the count is 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. And yeah, that's outside. That's a strike. And now 3-1. Wind in the pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's into the gap. And he's in at second with a two out double. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. So, man aboard. Here's Pete Alonso. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Martinez stands at second with two gone. That's down and in. 1-1. One, one. Good eye in that spot. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. Sets the tone for the rest of the game. Man on second, two down. That one back up the middle and it gets through. J.D. Martinez headed home. 
He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Runner at first with two away. And now the right fielder, D.J. Stewart. Swing and a foul straight back. Stewart hitting fifth in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2015. down looking but the RBI single pushes across a run it's now one nothing back after this on the show back here in New York and towing the slab David Peterson and Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. On the ground right side. Alonso steps on the bag. One gone bottom half of the first. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here's Juan Soto. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. One out, base is empty. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. The one one is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Slider misses outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's That's ball, ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Aaron Judge, batting with one down, takes the strike. Here comes the 0 1. And ball one to judge. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So, right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Soto, round second on his way to third. 
Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. One down, runners at second and third. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Kicks and fires. This one chopped to first. Down the line, and it's foul. Ground ball up the middle. Lindor throws the first in time. Now two away as they get a run across. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That ball's carrying. See you later. A two run homer. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 3 1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Here's Alex Verdugo. Out towards right center field. Stewart on the move. Drops into the glove. And that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 3-1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing it a foul straight back. And now the 01. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Next to hit, number 11. Well struck right field. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. Wastes no time there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And at second with one away, Jeff McNeil stands in. He's done a great job making contact recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. And 
And a foul ball. One out, the runner at second. Here at the top of the second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And he deals. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Throws from his knees. On the money. Nice play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. And next for the Mets, Harrison Bader. That's to third, and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third, and it's a one-run game. Safely into second, he's got a double. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. So the lineup flips over. Now up to hit. Francisco Lindor. And a foul ball. Next offering is down low. And it's one and one. And it's second. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. to the mound fires over to first Lindor retire that ends the inning and they limit the damage one for the Mets here on the RBI double it's now a 3-2 ball game you're dialed into the show we head to the bottom of the second now it's the second baseman Oswaldo Cabrera Peterson back to work. Blind into right. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Trent Grisham. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Off the mark there, and it's 1-0. Grisham, first round pick of the Brewers in 2015. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Fought off foul. Cabrera on at first nobody out that one off the mark two and two he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone the 2-2 wouldn't chase that time Three two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. 
Many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put him away did a nice job right there. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And now one and two. And another ball. Man at first one away. That one misses. And that's ball three. pitch and a pop-up right side foul territory Alonso makes the catch and yeah, there's two away back to the top of the lineup now it's JD Davis 0 for one so far And that one pulled foul. And a pitch. That's to third. Sends it across to first. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Back at Yankee Stadium. Now it's the DH, Brandon Nimmo. The wide to kick the pitch. Way high with that one. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. The 1 1 is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Everything came together for him. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. J.D. Martinez stands in. Inside, almost got him. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. J.D. swinging a drive. Deep left field. That's back there. And out of here. He jacks that one out to left. And they add a pair. It's 4-3. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonzo singled and drove in a run his first time through. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Rodon ready. Here comes. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. 
Stewart batting for the second time and that's strike one. All right so Monument Park out there in center field at Yankee Stadium. Have you gotten a chance to check that out? Boog, I have seen it more after my playing career than I did as a player. But as a broadcaster, many times entering and exiting through the center field fence, particularly in the playoffs, get a chance to take a glimpse over. And I got to say, you do get some goosebumps. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Struck him out looking. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Struck out swinging his first time. That one missed. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Man at first. Here's the third baseman. One for one with a double and a run score. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Grisham settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. This is the Subway Series on the show. Back now in the Bronx. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the number two hitter, Juan Soto. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And it one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it. And that was nicely done for extra bases. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Doubled in his first A.B. That one outside. 1-0. and oh. The Mets leading by a run here in the last half of the third. On the ground to the left. And that one finds its way through. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score and they tie it. It's four to four. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Austin Wells. And this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second. Heads for third. Headed for the plate. The relay throw. He's safe. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. First pitch fastball at a great spot to do some damage. And he squared it up nicely. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He's already homered here in this one. And that one a little below the knees. Ball one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings.
wing and a ball hammered left field Martinez going back on it feeling for the wall as he makes the catch Rounder tags at second just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left Alex Verdugo getting ready to hit fly to right his first time that one misses ball one right through there for a strike run around at third one gone That misses the zone, and it's two and one. In the air to left center. That's a base hit, run scores. Man at first with one gone. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. There's the strike. Here comes a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball and a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That should put a jolt into this home crowd. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 8-4. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. David Peterson won't go any further tonight. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Christian Scott gets the ball now. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Base is empty, one away. Trent Grisham digs in now. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. Still only one out here in the inning. And that one fouled off. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Popped out and foul ground first time through. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. This to third. Into the outfield base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Back to the top of the Yankee order. And now the DH, J.D. Davis. Right through there for a strike. LeMayhew, the runner at first with two gone. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Two outs. Down the right field line and a base hit. LeMahieu on his way to third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now at the plate, Juan Soto misses inside, and that's ball one. Two on, two outs. That misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines just ensure safety for the fans last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit Aaron Judge up next the 3 1 and there's a foul ball 3 2 2 out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch righty to the plate Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. On to inning number four. It's the Yankees eight and the Mets four. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Rodon back to work. And there's a ball. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Fouled off left side. The wind of the pitch. And it is two and one. Left hand hitter waits. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball at the knees. And now Harrison Bader. He doubled home a run in his first AB. Foul ball. Bader in his seventh season, 29 years old, and he was a third round pick. Back in 2015, breaking ball inside, one and one. That one ripped. Soto going back, pulls it in on the warning track. Here's Francisco Lindor. Right through there for a strike. The Mets down by four. Top half of inning number four.
the pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Two down. Nobody on. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it hits the fence. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Throw is offline. And he's got a double. So two down. Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Nimmo. Fastball for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Rip to short. That's out number three. Met strand one. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Back for more from the Bronx. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Aaron Judge. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Falling behind two and one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. And here it comes. And now it's filled up. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Outside, and that is ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Nobody out. Runner at first. Missed with a changeup. And that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The 2 1. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Man at first. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. The shortstop takes a ball. Wing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field that's back there gone another homer his second home run of the game and they add a couple more it's 10 4 That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Verdugo in the box again, takes the strike.
The Yankees up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now it's the second baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And that's in there at the knees. And he'll won. Just missed. No, he's really working him away this at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity try to get a rollover something on the ground stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Here's a one one. In the air out to center sizes this one up. And there's two down. Now batting center fielder. Chris. So a man aboard and stepping in for the Yankees Trent Grisham. There's a strike. Swings through that one. Man he really sells the change up with that arm action. Oh he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So two on, but two away. Now the third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. That misses the zone, 1-0. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Bader brings it in for the third out. Two run blast for the Yankees this inning. And this is now a 10 4 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's going to be JD Martinez. The lefty fires. Ripped, but it curls foul. That's off the mark, and now it's even one and one. And another ball. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. On the ground to third, handled by LeMayhew. Zips it to first, one away here in the fifth. Up next for the Mets, the first baseman. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center that one's carrying going gone he muscles that one out the opposite way home run number 20 on the year it's 10 5. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. One down. And now D.J. Stewart. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One down, base is empty. There's a high chopper. Over to first. He's out. 
now batting. Catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Just missed. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And another ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Got him swinging. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. And they've doubled things up now at 10-5. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Sean Manaya. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. So now the DH spot, J.D. Davis, one for three. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one almost got him. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind and the pitch. And there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Man at first. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. And that one is in for a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Steps on the bag for one. The throw to second is offline. Aaron Judge at the plate. First pitch just misses. Man at second. Right through there for a strike. He swings and fouls one off. One out and a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. That one not close. And it's two and two. And misses inside. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Wells stands in here, takes ball one low. Close one, doesn't get the call. Now 2-0. Oh. Swings 
swing and a ball lifted left field. Martinez makes the grab and that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees. They still lead it though 10-5. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, digging in, number 11. And a pitch. That takes low for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Luis Heal up and throwing. Number 50, getting loose as well. Swings through that. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. And it drops in. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. McNeil, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Up the middle. Quickly to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. In the air out towards right center. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Mets 5. And here is Anthony Volpe. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. And a pitch. And he drops it down the third baseline, and it goes just foul. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. And ball one. It's a good take. And now it's one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next offering way upstairs. And yeah, that's outside. And he deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Verdugo in the box now. No balls in a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. On the corner for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Kicks and fires. Whoa. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. Sets him down on strikes. 
Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. Bell just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Cabrera in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. That missed by a lot. Yeah, the count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Heal. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Back to the top of the Mets order. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Swing and a ball popped up. Moving under it. Puts it away for the out. One down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Now back, designated hitter, Brandon Nimmo. Here's Brandon Nimmo. It's easy for lineups to get frustrated in games like these because they've proven they can hit the ball hard. They're squaring up good pitches, but unfortunately, that's not always enough. Uh -huh. Flips the corner, and that is strike one. Heel in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. The 0-1. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and he's got pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing. He was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. One out, runner at second. Here is J.D. Martinez. And that one missing low. The 1 0. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. And a pitch. Hard ground ball base now. Nimmo around third. Well done. Drives in the run. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. One gone runner at first. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Inside just missed. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Righty delivers. And now two balls and a strike. The 
The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Martinez over at first with one away. And another ball. Three two gets a piece and stays alive. Right handed reliever swings and misses struck him out. He's got to throw any pitch in any count three two he goes off speed gets the out. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets 0 for three with two strikeouts and a ground out. First pitch and he just misses. The Yanks leading by four here in the top half of inning number seven. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Outside low, and it's two and one. And a foul ball. Two two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a four run game at 10 6. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jake Diekman. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. The center fielder. And the pitch. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Number 72 getting loose out there. Young, the lefty, warming up as well. And now the lefty. And the 1 0 misses low. And that's downstairs and outside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And now three and one. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Payoff pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's got it. One up, one down. Now back, the third baseman, DJ. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. And that one fouled off. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. The pitch. Swings and misses, and there are two outs. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. In now is the Yankees DH, J.D. Davis. 
wouldn't chase that time. One ball. Two down, One nobody ball. on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Ball. And that's outside. Ball two. And another ball. Juan Soto on deck for the Yankees. That one finds the zone, and the count is three and one. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. As the lead holds at 10 to six. Back in the Bronx. We're at the top of the eighth. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Going one. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been absolutely smashing the baseball. They've racked up a bunch of hits, and eight have gone down for extra bases. Ball one there. And eight extra base hits is a big number, and it's pretty clear the offense is just feeding off each other at this point. Confidence is contagious. Right-hander kicks deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The one two. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A solo shot and they cut into the lead. It's 10 7. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that and they're back in business. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Tommy Canely. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Here's the third baseman. That's down and in. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Yankees up by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. That's in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Clay Holmes, the closer, is getting loose. Number 50, also throwing. The pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. Got him looking. And one out now. And next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Outside. On, 
In the air, left field. Stretches out and hauls it in. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Harrison Bader, the next to hit. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Throws to second. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair, and even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory, and that right there was perfect. So the batting order turns over. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And the right hander deals. Pitches in there. And it's nothing in two. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. Mets draw closer thanks to the home run. It's now 10 7. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Juan Soto. Deakman back to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, an at-bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Foul ball there. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That one's upstairs, ball one. And the count is one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Hard hit to third. Toss to Alonzo. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here is Aaron Judge. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Pitch misses outside, and yeah, that's ball two. Judge rips that one. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Judge leads off first with one away. And there's a foul ball. One one now. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. On to first double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Through eight full. It's the Yankees 10 and the Mets 7.
a new arm into the game the righty Clay Holmes and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones in the game I'd say spin rates very high and it just breaks a ton and here it comes Nimmo in now takes ball one off the plate. In the air, left field, down the line. Verdugo pulls it down, and there's one down. He's two outs away. Now the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. That misses off the outside edge. Righty to the plate. On the ground. And he can't come up with it. Man at first with one gone. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Breaking ball in there for a strike. The Yankees trying to close out a three run lead here at the top of the ninth. There's the strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. And the righty deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking. And they're down to their last out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Swung on. Belted. That's back there. Here. He hammers one out to center. It's 10 9. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Base is empty with two away. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first, ball game. And the Yankees hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, even though these guys got the win and this guy got the save, you can tell he's a little dejected. Not the performance that he wanted, giving up a couple of runs. But in the end, got to be happy that you got the W. Team can go in the clubhouse and celebrate this victory.
First for the victorious Yankees, 10 runs, 13 hits. No errors. They left seven runners on base. For the Mets, nine runs, 16 hits. One error. They left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.